Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 93 of Let's Platinum Tales of Symphonia. Onwards we go to fight another battle. This is going to be relatively challenging. Um, I didn't do that great, and I still got 10 grade pretty easily, I think, in my practice playthrough, so hopefully I do a bit better. It reminds me of my journey to regenerate the world. But this time, we're here to cure your illness. I'm curious to see what the design of Tethayala's Tower of Salvation is like. Now, Zelos, open the door, quickly! You know, you can get really scary sometimes. <laughs> oh, yeah! Check me out! It's my time to shine! Do I look like a chosen or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get going. <laughs> That's a very disturbing laugh. Zelos, <laughs> is something wrong? What? You're even more... Um, even more obnoxious than usual? Nah, he's always like this. Just ignore him. <laughs> She's pretty sharp. Zelos is probably one of the smartest in the group, actually. Or at least the most cunning. Um, alright, so Rain... We'll use Ray. Uh, damn it, I really want him to use, uh, what's the name of that move? The new one, Prism Sword, but he hasn't learned it yet, so I guess we're gonna have to leave that. We can do Absolute, that's a good one, Dreaded Wave will be good, uh, hits. Yeah, I guess we'll go with this. Uh, Crescent Dark Moon. Uh, okay, we'll just leave it like that. Hopefully, we'll just hope for the best. Here we go, the Tower of Salvation. Again. <laughs> Alright, hopefully this goes well, because I had a little bit of trouble last time, and I feel like I'm going to have some more trouble this time, but we'll see. Oh, ghastly. Such a sad place. Wait a minute. Is this really Tetheala? Remember that um, Zelos, Regal, and Prisea have never been in the Tower of Salvation before, but Sheena has, even though she's from Tethayala. Yeah. It looks identical to Silveron's Tower of Salvation. My body... I can't stop shaking. This is the same place. It can't be. Lloyd, remember this? That's... Wait, I broke that! I like this flashback scene that they do. It's quick, it's clever, it's awesome, it's a nice callback. The two worlds are connected here. Of course, it's the same place. Kratos, it's you again. Who are you really? Are you really one of Mythos' companions from 4,000 years ago? Good. Since you figured that out, it saves me the time to explain. We will take the Chosen as the new body for Martell. You're still trying to do that? Are you so intent on resurrecting Martell that you're willing to distort the entire world in the process? I have no need to explain. <laughs> Look at his new sword. So in the end, you really are our enemy. I kept thinking, hoping that you might be good. But you're not. I should think that would be obvious at this point. Don't hold back this time. Let's do it. Battle, engage! I hope you improved. Alright, now, this is gonna be pretty tricky. But let's do it. Damn it. Oh, nice! You got it. Okay. That didn't, didn't even really go that well. Wow, I took a lot of damage. Please hit him. Thank you. Nice. Go, 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 go. Nice, 5,000 off. Can I have a heal? Thank you. Up. Oh. Ow. How did you get out of that? Uh, I'm nice. Oh no, over limit. 
Ow. Uh, hang on. No use. Hang on. Rain. Son of a gun. This is why it's hard. He does. He still does a lot of damage. He's obviously. Oh, I caught that nurse. No. Damn it. Super lightning blade. Oh, this is gonna hurt you. Nice healing circle. Well done. Hang on, is he done his dragon dance? Yeah, he's done. Let's get him to use... Hang on, triple kick. Should I get him to use Eagle Fall, Dragon Rage? Maybe Dragon Rage. Oh god! Son of a gun. Stop that! Oh crap, he's gonna hurt. No, I'm gonna get hit. Oh, nice. Okay. Come on. That's it, that's it. Break him. Ah, almost broke him. Stop that! Nice. Okay, hang on. Uh, I'm gonna give myself a quick gel. Which is the one I want. I want that one. Can you break? Stop using judgment like that! Nice. <laughs> bloody, that bloody teleport. Damn it! Genus, quickly use life bottle on me. I knew this battle wouldn't go well. How are we going? We're almost there. Again with the judgment. Quit killing me! Oh my god. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh my god. Quit it. Seriously. Uh, good. Freaking hell, man. Oh, I got to keep it. Nice. Are you okay? Please. Oh, he's so <laughs> oh, that was bad. Get him. Oh, you're out of TP somehow. Oh, that's right. I left magic mist on. Oops. Uh, actually, it didn't really matter. How are you on zero? Oh, kill him. He's gonna die. <laughs> that was the worst fight I've ever done. But let's see how it goes. Ah, uh, 4.10. Uh, I think I'm doing that fight again. I don't want to miss out on 5.9 grade. That's a shame. I would advise against resisting, or there will be no mercy this time. I don't know what it is about Kratos, but I just cannot beat him easily. Are we still alive? Well, looks like we'll have our lives at least until they finish preparing Colette's treatment. Apparently she's useless the way she is now. Maybe we were tricked. He had us gather the materials to treat Colette. And then had us bring her here. That sure saved them a lot of time and effort. Kratos used us? <laughs> Did he betray us again? Lloyd. I feel guilty for letting this happen to Colette and the others. I really want to know why I keep getting captured, 
and getting thrown into jail all the time. <laughs> you sure you haven't been doing anything to deserve it? We should just be glad we have our lives. Well, yeah. I just realized. This thing's built solid as a rock. All the boys are in this cell, and you'll see it in a second. All the girls are in the other one. Open the lock, either. Same here. It won't budge at all. Can Colette or Perseo break it? No. I'm sorry I couldn't be of use. So we're completely. Okay, tired. so it's just about to happen. Um, remember when we were fighting against uh, Rodial, and then after that there was a section where Botta and two renegades were like trying to turn or shut the system down or whatever and it was filling with water and Regal was attacking the like the glass with his feet and Lloyd was slashing at the glass with his sword but they couldn't free him or free yeah free Botta and the two renegades um you're about to see something what I think is just the coolest but um yeah in my mind I'm like why didn't you do that then here we go no, what are you gonna do this time, Ray? You gonna kick it again, huh? You gonna do? What the hell? Whoa! Hang on a sec. What? <laughs> How did you do that? Here we go. I originally specialized in fighting with my hands, not my feet. Oh, come on! That is amazing. <laughs> I, when this was revealed, it, when I played the, the game for the first time and this line came up, I was like, that is genius. I absolutely love it. I think they did such a great job with, with what they did there. It's so perfect. Let's keep going. And since X spheres amplify their users' abilities far above their maximum limits, this result is to be expected. Then why don't you just fight with your hands? I swore I would never fight with these hands again. This time, I used them in order to save you, Lloyd. You're going to unite the worlds and save Colette. Yeah, oh. that's right. I skipped right. <laughs> All right, everybody, grab what you can and let's get out of here. Oh my God! Like it, that was one of my absolute favorite moments when they revealed that. Because think about it, the what happened was he he said he originally used to specialize fighting with his hands, but then the reason that he um. Can I get anything here? No. The reason that he uh, handcuffed himself is because the hands killed, um, well, like, he killed, uh, what's her name again? Alicia? Alicia. He killed Alicia with his hands. So he vowed never to fight with his hands again. And yet his hands are, like, much, much stronger than his feet. And he decided to change to his feet, which, you know, they're sti he's still a, an extremely strong fighter, but to have that as, like, a backup, that's so cool, and it, in my the only downside was that in my mind, I wonder what would happen if I go over here. I don't think you can do anything, but nah. The only downside is that, um, well, we unfortunately we never get to see him fight with his hands, which that would be just epic if he. Every every character has a really powerful attack that they can learn later on in the game. Oops, I just saved, and now I can't do the Kratos battle again. Oh well. It's fine. It's not that much. I mean, it's a good amount of grade, but... Eh, whatever. I probably would have done it off-screen as well. Um, yeah, it's a shame that, like, every character has a special ability, but his special ability doesn't use his hands. It would have been really nice to, to see him use his hands, because that was crazy. That was basically like a Kamehameha, Hadouken kind of combo. It's pretty awesome. Um, okay, so, yeah, I guess I can keep going. Alright, so in order to get out of here, in order to escape, this is World Gaia, the holy city. Um, We've got to click on this thing and do something that you don't get to do at, in any other point in the game except for now. But anyway, what the? That's weird. This is a transporter, right? There may be a problem with this destination. Man, what can we do now? We can't just stay here. Lloyd, I'll go fly around and have a look. Okay, don't do anything dangerous. I know. Whee! The way she flies is so strange. <laughs> is she going to be alright? Let her handle, let's let her handle it for now. Alright, so you get to be Colette for a split second. All you have to do... Hang on, hmm... This box must be in the way. All you have to do is, when the Holy City World Guy comes up, push this box to the left, push this box to the left, or pull this box to the left, and you don't need to worry about being stuck, they'll just put her there. That should do it. 
Did she like pray after that? That was weird. That was fast. It looks like the problem was resolved. I know. Okay, let's go. Okay, cool. So we'll probably be able to get to the dungeon um, by the end of this episode. Another thing to note is this counts as a dungeon. So as we're walking around, as long as you have Perseus personal ability equipped, um, we can pick up random food items. You may have noticed one before. They're all angels. We're gonna get caught if we keep wandering around here. You're right. We'll pretend to be Colette's prisoners. She should be fine because she's an angel. Okay. <laughs> uh, what was I gonna do? I need to figure out how to use that extreme level four, but I'm gonna have to probably do that next episode because I completely forgot about it. Um, one sec, one sec. What was I gonna do? Items. Oh, I was gonna check what thing. I picked up some barley rice. Not seven, just probably one. But it was because I had six barley rice, I guess. Dolls. No matter where you look, it's just angels, angels, angels. And they're all like a bunch of weird dolls. Dolls. <laughs> True. You can't tell what they're thinking. What? <laughs> uh, it's hard to believe that they're actually half-elves, like the professor and genus. Am I the same? What? They remind me of myself. I guess so. <laughs> Am I really human? What are you talking about? Of course you're human. Aren't you like... Shouldn't you be like an elf, sort of? Yeah. I wonder. Because she's short? That's probably not what it means. No, wait. Elves are tall like dwarfs are short. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's been a while since a non-angel fro form... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, it is form. It has been a while since a non-angel form was seen in this holy city of Volgaia. Aside from our leaders, the last instance was 800 years ago, when the previous vessel of Martel arrived. Hmm, interesting. I had forgotten that we were once half-elves and humans until I saw you. Okay, there's another one. The flow of mana must be reversed soon, but the system is in chaos from the incident when the protection of the seed weakened. But we must do something, preserving the two worlds in their current states is Lord Yggdrasil's will. All of the mana of Darius Carlin is poured into the great seed which Lady Martell protected with her life in order to prevent him from dying. The mana that flows from the great seed is so weak that the mana consumption must be suppressed through the declining and flourishing of the two worlds. Indeed, once Lady Martell revives and Lord Yggdrasil establishes the Age of Half-Elves, management of mana consumption between the two worlds will no longer matter. Exactly. Alright, so that was a whole bunch of exposition that is a bit too confusing to explain. Or at least confusing for me. I don't know. I've played this game so many times, but it's still... No! I missed the thing. Hang on a sec. There's a... This is a devil arm, and we're going to collect it in a sec, but hopefully this kit will pop up. Alright, we'll go for it first. Hey, the ne uh, Nebulum key is vibrating. Then this is... Okay, let's try opening it. We get Apocalypse. I thought so. It's a devil arm. I like that all of them have cool names. Apocalypse is the one that belongs to... Um, Regal, as you can see there. We have four of them currently, so let's go over them. We have Nebulum, that's Lloyd's one. We have the Evil Eye. So Nebulum we got from talking to... What was his name again? Abyssian. Abyssian. So Nebulum we got from talking to Abyssian. Abyssian. Evil Eye we got from the... Was it Toys Valley Mine? Yeah, the Toys Valley Mine. For destroying the Bakura. Um, we don't have Genus's one, we don't have Rain's one, we don't have Sheena's one, we don't have Zelos's one, but we do have the Diabolos, which is Prisea's one, that one we got from the, what's the name of that place, Lathian Gorge, and finally we got the Apocalypse from just now, so that's cool, so we have four out of eight. There is absolutely nothing else in this um, room except for this person to talk to, so I'll quickly do that. I've heard that Origin is sealed. What kind of power can seal the King of the Summoned Spirits? Right, so Origin's King of the Summoned Spirits. There's rooms on either side here, and this is an elevator that we're on like level one, I think. Yeah, we're on level one. There's two, three, four, five, and there's absolutely nothing in any of the rooms up the top, so don't worry about that. You can talk to people, but there's nothing in the rooms. Something strange about this city, but I can't put my finger on it. There are many people here, but there is no feeling of actual daily life activity. That's probably why. Yeah, they're alive, but it's like they're dead. They aren't thinking anything at all. <laughs> so it would seem. What Crucius is doing is just wrong. 
All right, what I will do, I guess, is even though there's nothing, I'll go talk to the people that are in uh, these rooms since it won't take that long. There's one. I've heard one of the leaders handled the seal of origin by Lord Redressel's orders. I wish I could receive that level of trust. What about you? A design class and a lower class angel taking human prisoners? That is, this is a strange sight. Uh, okay. Level 3. I mean, like, again, continuing with the Regal thing. Could you imagine if Regal could use his hands as, like, his ultimate move? I am not interested. Be gone. That would be amazing. Just, like, do a Kamehameha to, like, finish off a boss or something. Ugh. I reckon they should remake the entire game and add that as an element just for that purpose. <laughs> I'd buy it. <laughs> Alright. And Angels Without Soul. Without Soul! I should say, without a soul. It looks like almost all of the angels have lost their souls. Living for countless years. Unable to even think. <laughs> they can't feel happiness anymore. It's too sad. After looking at these guys in this city, I'm so glad you didn't become an angel caller. That's a good point. Uh, and you, what do you have? As long as Origin lies asleep, the eternal sword will belong to your Lord Yggdrasil forever. Ah, okay. So Origin and the eternal sword are intrinsically linked. I think that's what that word means. <laughs> uh, alright. So let's go. Okay, I guess we'll quickly do this little uh, progress thing, and then we'll move on. If we talk to this guy, I only noticed this while I was. Could I please have a fragment of mana? I'm just gonna say I only noticed this when I was doing my practice playthrough. But this um, angel's hair—it looks exactly like the the one that was the the fake chosen group, like that main guy from the fake chosen group that was supposed to be fake Lloyd. Um, it's n not him, I'm pretty sure, but it would it would have been quite a weird um, story element if it was fragments of mana are no longer being distributed return to your area <laughs> you won't give us one it sounds like c3po a human these are the subjects needed for the crucius crystal research high x sphere research i see now that you mention it i've heard that research involving humans were being conducted yes exactly and we require a fragment of mana for that purpose Understood. Then please show me your identification. Do we need that? Of course. Lord Kratos. We need a fragment of mana for the ritual of the Chosen. I've sent a courier over to pick it up. Understood. Yeah, that. That's us. Are you saying your Lord Kratos is courier? Hey, yeah. Silence, human. We're with Kratos. Hmm. But just a moment ago, you said you were going to use it for high exvia research. That's right. And it just so happens that it's also needed in the ritual, so we came to retrieve it. Please hurry. But without identification. Besides, you seem to be of the design class and have humans among you. While you're complaining about these little nitpicky details, you're keeping Yggdrasil waiting. You want to take him off? You dress you. That's right. Lord, you dress you is scary if you cross him. Uh, all right. <laughs> so silly. Make sure you get it to them. And that's how we get a mana fragment. I like the li nice little. Hang on. This is a warehouse that stores mana fragments. Okay. I like the ni nice little contrast of um, how, like, in one of the cities before in Heimdall, um, what do you call half elves were treated like like crap and here they're like the most um worship things almost in a way like you know because of the way rain was talking to to lloyd uh let's have a look at these things i uh, can't make that maybe i was on the right one i oh, know i can make this okay uh oh geez i don't really have time to well i can do this real quick Hey, look at that. A giant transporter, perhaps? Maybe we can use that to get back to the ground. Alright, so you don't have to talk to that person up there, but I will just to quickly knock it out as a, um, just a conversation. 
Just try and get as much dialogue out of the game as possible. Wait, show your identification. Gah, identification again? You, you're a human. He's being transported for an experiment. Excuse us. We don't have any identification. How are we supposed to get back to the ground? That can't possibly be their only method of transportation. If that thing breaks, they're screwed. Yes, let's have a look around. Alright, so just talking suggests that we have to go further into the thing, but we're going to stop here for a sec. I don't remember. I think there's another save point, but yeah. Um, Alright, so let's just save here, and we'll call it a day. Next time, we're going to get through a little bit more of this area. Then there's a big dungeon that we have to get through, then more side quests, and then further in the story. Um, Alright, so I want to thank you all for watching episode 93 of Let's Platinum Tales of Symphonia. My name is Ultima456. You're the ultimates, and I'll see you next time.